I think we are on and we're ready to get going with our outdoor 4pm movement snack today. Behind the camera we have my daughter Neve Leverton who is <laughs> hopefully not going to put me off. Um, but let's have a see how many of you are coming in and saying hi. Neve, you're behind the camera so you might tell, need to tell me who's coming in Kay. for the movement snack. And then we can say hello to them. <laughs> I just turned it round. How do I turn it back round? I think I'll do the preamble bit, everyone. Okay, so we've got three people in so far. Neve's got the giggles because she's just turned it round on herself. Uh, here we are with Mrs Perry coming in. Hello and welcome to your 4pm third and final movement snack for today. Um, Jules, my good friend Jules Mark is watching. Hello. And you just got a uh, unexpected close-up of Neve, I think, as well, didn't you? Um, who would like to be my timekeeper today? You know what it's like. I always need somebody to keep me in check on time and feel free, say hello, tell me what you've been up to today. Have you done any crowbarring or mindful movement as you've been going through your day-to-day -day activities? Um, let me know what you've been doing. Shrewsbury's melting. Yeah, it's pretty melting here as well. But we are canal side. I'll just show you there. There's part of Leicestershire's canal system. It's rather nice out here, I must say, and uh, a great place after you've lugged your uh, dining room chair along the canal path, a great place to do a movement snack. And it just goes to show you that movement snacks can be done anytime, anywhere, although you might not want to take your, um, your dining room chair with you slung over your shoulder. <laughs> Right, we've got eight people lurking in the background, but only a few of you are brave enough to come forward and give us a big hello. So, waiting for more hellos, people. So, cloudy in Port Talbot, and they've had a bit of rain. We could do with some sending, being sent up here, Chris, to be honest. Um, it is El Scorchio. <laughs> Let me know when we are hurtling towards that 4 p.m. Uh, alarm clock and we will get our movement snack started. Um, Neve will be behind the camera, hopefully not in uh, front of the camera, um, and hopefully she'll give you some uh, full proper shots of, of me and you don't get the floor or the ceiling, well, or the sky or anything like that. Okay. 20 degrees in Kelalo, wow. Warming up there, warming up nicely. Vivian's in, Muggy in, uh, wherever you are, Bolton, that's right. It's beautiful here, Di. Summer, is Somerset beautiful as well? I expect it is. Here we go, the collective are checking in and Bex is just come in as well. What are we doing for time, Bex? Am I due to do a three, two, one? Um, oh, Dave's just come in as well. And Odile, hi Odile, you've, where you been for a while? So um, we are getting ready for our movement snack at four, our sway and stretch. We love this bit, don't we? 4 p.m.s are bleak and lonely without a movement snack at four. Is it time, Neve? Okay. Right, we're on a go, go, go. Here we are then. Here's my three, two, one. Good afternoon and welcome. Today is the 31st of July and it'd be Friday. We love a good Friday. Um, we are in a slightly different location today, which goes to show that movement can be done anywhere you like even though you might look a little bit daft whilst you're standing there marching or stretching or whatever it may be we'll get going today with our circ boost um, as we know that prepares us for what's coming up with the sway and that all-important stretch hang on let me sort the camera out okay thank you Neve. all right so if you are in a seated position let's have a think about becoming more active within our posture. Lifting tall away from the chair and taking some hip walks forwards. And we're on the front third of the chair. Feet flat on the floor. If you're in standing as well, start to set up your posture from feet hip distance apart, lengthening up through your legs. If we all just make some adjustments through the trunk, lengthening up, shoulders round back and down, and cue, we're ready to circ boost. 
if you want to start with some arm movements like so which seems quite apt as we're canal side um, for canoeing or some arm swings it's up to you if you're in standing and you need to take up some external support I've just got a pole here so I can start with my leg marches or my heel pumps with or without upper body movements from the off it's up to you we can of course start to bring some arm swings in in a moment or so so if you would like to bring some arm movements in but it's a bit coordination rich for you then you might want to pause with the legs continue holding your support and bring one arm in if you feel steady in standing and you're happy to get both arms on the go then do that so as you know here there's loads of options in how we can make circulation boosting work for us ultimately though it needs to be rhythmical uh, not too huffy or puffy so you know moderate intensity approach to this bit of a warm-up that we've got all right take a pause there have your feet at around hip distance apart this will be a perfect start position for our feet when we get into our sway in seated as well hip distance apart flat to the floor with your feet and good posture now here we are in your seated option we're going to think about just shifting first of all so shifting right side to left side just taking a bit more weight over onto one side of your hips continue that for a moment if you're in standing you might have something in front of you to hold on to and you can shift your hips from side to side like so and you can see the cyclists are just going by <laughs> and wondering what we're doing hi Isaac hi. so shifting the weight right side left side as much as you want or as little as you want take a pause there here's the arm movements with that we've got our wrist flick if you feel better with something behind you in standing take up a position where your hips are against something as you move your arms and in seated hopefully you're feeling fine to move your arms as you sit in tall posture from there so we've got arms and legs separate there if we want to put them together we need to switch and sway flick of the wrists at the top and then slowing down the pace a little there in seated exactly the same shifting the weight hip to hip hippity hip hoppity hop take a pause there across the body and back is our next practice just do three or four of those in seated or standing with your hips resting against something so that enables you to move your both arms into the mix have a go to the other side one arm on the up diagonal the other on a down diagonal all right have a look there take a pause there have a look at this all together if you want to keep active as you just watch me take this through the first round and then join in the second then feel free to do so if you're in the seat you can be moving also so here we go with four three two one and then we have a step out fall back transfer the weight to the front foot to the back foot feet come back to base going on the other side then we've got a hang on four three two one. If the hand is down, this is going to be my arm that travels up and diagonal and back, up and diagonal and back. Take a pause. All right, let's have a round of that right side, left side. So off we go. One, two, flicking the wrist. Three, four, keep the weight over that leg. Release and step. In seated, you can be doing this step as well, which we did yesterday. And a one, two, three, four, stepping out. If you want that step out to be there, put it in. 
if not just keep with the transfer of weight and take a pause there all right so our sway is done heading into our stretches now so in the seat let's go into seated forwards in the chair for the calf stretch heel forwards and toes pulled upwards tall posture just sitting in active posture there and really pulling the toes back in standing you may need to hold on to something here it looks like i'm pole dancing my daughter said that a moment ago but we stride one leg back settle the heel down so the back leg straight front knee bent and we can bend into the front knee just a little bit more using whatever we've got to support our top half and hopefully get a stretch into the back of the leg there down at the bottom all the way from heel to back of knee change over feet try not to cross the feet onto a line if you can keep your feet apart front knee bent back leg straight if you're in standing and in seated of course we're just pulling the toes back aiming to hold for 15 20 12 to 20 seconds take a few breaths as you hold your stretch and pause there Coming into seated now, people. This is, I feel, the best position for the back of thigh to be stretched. Feet hip distance apart. If you know the standing version, then please get, on, get along with that one. The ankles relaxed here, knee soft. And if you're finding yourself slumped down, relaxed there, just lift through your spine, lift away from your sit bones and out of your hips and then tilt forwards. It's not an almighty lean where we need to bring our chest low towards our knees, just a small tilt. Holding it there, feeling that hopefully right behind the back of the knee and up towards your hips. If you feel like the stretch tension is there, then hold it. But if it relaxes and releases, maybe just take it a little bit further, a bit deeper into the stretch. And that way, with progressive approach there, we can start to notice changes in our flexibility, improvements in our flexibility, or our ability to get down towards our feet to do shoe socks, um, nails, etc. and recover. Who's in for an inner thigh stretch then? And then we're not far off. Uh, last for the upper body and then we're on to the upper body feet are out wide it's a little bit wider than usual so are knees feet and knees pointing at about 10 to 2 tall posture lift and lengthen as you were in that previous stretch and then have a go at tilting forwards whilst pushing on your knees shoulders are down and away from the ears feeling the stretch right along the inside of your legs there and recover okay bring your legs and feet back in ready for a chest stretch so quite often we might find these muscles in the chest and the front of the shoulders feel tight and this can be due to how we've been holding our posture over a number of years um, that that occurs so sit up out of your uh, hips lengthening through the spine arms long and loose by the side of you and just walk them back a bit once you've got your arms back a bit you should start to feel a stretch into the chest so keep sitting tall I can hear the riffraff coming down the canal and recover upper side stretch then to finish if you're in standing, just make sure that you feel steady on your feet as you do these stretches. So hand onto the shoulder, walking the fingertips down the back and lifting the elbow. Have a go at just lifting the elbow a bit more, but sitting tall as well. So we get a bit more length, maybe a slight tilt to lengthen down the side of our body a bit more. What's that on me? <laughs> Recover there. If you want to head to the full stretch, up we go, and an extra reach, lengthening all the way down the arm right to your hip area. Let's do the other side, and then we're evened off and balanced right side, left side. 
saying that, right side, left side might be a little bit different, i.e. a bit stiffer, a bit more flexible. Um, up we go with the elbow just to get a bit more length here. And if you're heading into the full stretch, hands just slightly in front of your uh, head and lengthening up and recover. Here they come. Mm. <laughs> Let's pan them round. Here's the silly lot look. <laughs> yep. So there we go everyone. Um, broadcast finished from the Leicestershire countryside. <laughs> um, I hope you enjoyed that. It's great to be out and about and uh, doing some different things. And it just, like I said, goes to show that we can take movement and we can crowbar wherever we are, wherever we go. So I will leave you with that one. Take care, everyone. And uh, thank you to Neve, my uh, film assistant there. And this is Kelsey Leverton signing off. See you later.